And this one, let's take a look at finding this limit right here that says the limit as x approaches 0 of sine of 3x over 2x. Let's rewrite this as follows. First of all, let's call this 1. And 2, there's this basic fact that when you have a limit that looks like this, x approaches 0 of sine of x over x, this value is known to be 1. It's established. There are proofs for it. Notice that our limit says sine of 3x over 2x. This basic limit says sine x over x. In a previous video, I also showed, like, for example, that you need this piece and this piece to be the same. Then this limit is always equal to 1. In our case, we have 3 as a constant and 2 as a constant. These are not the same values. So our goal, naturally enough, will be to try to rewrite this limit so it conforms to this basic shape. So that this and this are the same. So to do that, take a look. You begin by applying a basic trick we've been using our entire lives, which is to multiply by 1. So I'm going to say here the limit as x approaches 0. And then instead of writing here sine 3x over 2x, I will say the following. Remember, the goal is to make whatever this 3x is the same on the bottom. Right now it's 2x. So take that number 2, and this is what you can do. You can multiply by 3, like this. And then the bottom do the same thing. It becomes 3 times 2 times x. You can do this because 3 divided by 3 is, of course, just a number 1. You are free to multiply by 1 as needed. At this point, at the next stage, take a look at step number 4. Let me just number the steps here. So at step number 4, what you want to do is separate things out in such a way that what is left here matches. So if you have a 3x here on the bottom, you also want to have 3x, which means that this 2 here should be pulled outside. So it looks like this. Take a look. Limit. As x approaches 0, it becomes the following. There's a 3 in the top, and that 2 goes outside like that, so it becomes 3 halves. Then what's left after that over here is the sine of 3x over 3x. So on the bottom, instead of writing 3 times 2 times x, I'm writing 2 times 3 times x. That's okay, you remember, because like, you know, 5 times 4 times 10 is the same as 10 times 4 times 5 and so on. It doesn't matter how you multiply, so you can rearrange the numbers. Now what you can do is the following. Make this observation that the sine of 3x over 3x, they have the same pieces of 3x. You see that? So there's a basic rule about limits which allow you, allows you to factor a constants out of a limit. So it's step number five here. Being very detailed, obviously. I'm going to take this 3 halves. That's from step four and just factor it outside the limit. So it becomes on the outside here the following. Take a look. It becomes 3 halves, the limit, as x approaches. 0, and then here this is sine of 3x over 3x, and now this limit right here, the remaining one, has the value 1, because it conforms to the form in step number 2, so that means that I can write 3 halves basically times 1, that's it, this whole thing is just equal to 1, so lastly that just gives us obviously 3 halves as the value. And that is it. Thanks so much for watching. Leave a like. I'll check you out in another video.